Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Stars Aligned Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with a timeless reading. Timeless meaning no matter when you come across this message and it resonates with you, it is for you. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't. For those of you liking and sharing the videos, thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. I also want to give a huge, extra, extra loud shout out to Aquarius Diva for uh, your super chat recently on the... Um, most recent timeless reading <laughs> gets a little confusing here. Uh, thank you so, so much. I truly, truly appreciate you. Such an awesome, awesome uh, show of support. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and jump in here, Aquarius, and see what is happening, going on, or what needs to come through for you for this reading. Ooh, did you see that? Just flip right over. Let's get one or two more. Dang. They are just jumping right out. Okay, let's do get one more. One more. Whew. Quick, quick, and quick that these are coming out. Gorgeous coloring on the cards there. Let's get a few tarot cards to add a little bit more to the story. All right. Got judgment. Judgment's been coming out a lot in your readings lately, Aquarius. Ace of Swords. Ooh. All right. Okay, jumping cards. Ooh. And wow, a lot of cards came out there. Let's see. The moon. All right, there's a lot going on. A lot going on. A lot going on. All right, we've got storyteller cards. So let's go ahead and start off the top here. You've got talking stick, Aquarius. So, ooh, isn't that gorgeous? Just take a look at that card right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So it's interesting that you have that talking stick here with the judgment card. Let's take a look at that together. See the talking stick with the judgment card. So that talking stick energy here, um, this is really about communicating from the heart, speaking your truth, okay? Sharing your truth, your reality, your authenticity without hesitation, okay? Standing um, before kind of the crowd and sharing from your center, really, really speaking up talking from your core is what's coming through here, right? Um, if you think about it, you, you may have seen movies. There's a few movies. And I think even, um, what is that? Oh, Lord, I'm not going to remember what it is. There's a book about the boys that are lost on an island. I can't, I can't think what it's called. Something about like the, something of the flies or something like that. Um, Oh, I can't think of what it's called. Hopefully you know what book it is, but it's like they have that when they're, when they talk, they have that stick or that shell or whatever it is. Um, it's been a long time guys. So <laughs> be, don't come for me. It's been a long time, but, um, is it Lord of the Flies? I'm thinking it's Lord of the Flies. Might be that book where they have that and they, they, that's when they speak, but it's like the talking stick when you speak your truth and that's when the truth comes out. Uh, also, is it the step up movies or what have you? And they have that stick also the stick of truth or, or whatever it is. I may be out of, out of bounds here, but it's, it's time for you to really, really speak your truth, Aquarius. It's time for you um, to really come and be uh, aware, be able to stand up, right? That judgment card is coming through with that energy of really, really being aware, right, of, of yourself, being self-aware instead of self-critical, but also 
allowing yourself that discernment, but also a, that second chance energy is coming through. So of course you have this energy coming through with you really stepping into this authentic place. For some of you, this is coming through with a second chance or, and or granting yourself. Isn't this interesting of Christ granting yourself a second chance to really speak your truth, to really stand up bold, to really, um, show up and show out within your own authenticity, within your own, um, uh, area of, of being really genuine. There's this genuine energy coming through of Christ. Some of you have just barely, you barely like, um, you see it like surface level and you don't go very, very deep and spirits indicating that now is the time Aquarius within your reality to dig a little deeper, be more, um, authentic, show up in your truth, speak your truth, right? Allow that second chance to come through. Really, really allow yourself to be self-aware, allow yourself to speak your truth, um, and be, be aware instead of critical with that judgment, right? There, you're being asked to rise up, to rise up to the call. If you look here, you see these images here. It's like they're rising up, right? They're reaching up, rising up, answering that call. Of course, the spirit's indicating that it's time for you as well to answer that call. Speak your truth, be genuine, really, really come out of the kind of out of the, out of the clouds or out of the darkness, right? And rise up and, and really answer that call. Okay. Now you also have a smudging ceremony and that smudging ceremony is coming through with the Ace of Swords. So there is an energy coming through with that, with the two of these together, um, of truth coming through. Okay. There's a lot of of clarity. There's a lot of truth coming through. It's like coming up through the clouds, same kind of energy is here, right? It's almost like they're coming up through the fog or through the clouds as well. Okay. So there's clarity coming through now that smudging ceremony, this energy coming through with this card here is an energy of really, really cleaning up your side of the street. That's what is coming through with this Aquarius, which is super, super interesting because um, there's times, right, where we've got to really clean up the past. We've got to let go of the past. We've got to like purify. We've got to detox. We've got to get that clarity um, and that truth. So for some of you, there's going to be this energy of release um, of whatever doesn't benefit you, what no longer supports you, right? It's like um, lighting the the sage or lighting the Palo Santo and really cleaning out the cobwebs, getting that broom out and sweeping stuff away, really um, cleaning out negativity, creating this um, detox, this purification, this neutralization as well with energy or with the and, um, air, the stagnancy, that kind of thing, right? But creating that clarity coming up through, it's almost as if you see this has the smoke and the clouds and this has that cloud and almost kind of smoky background where that light is being shown. So that clarity, that truth is coming through. For some of you, um, this is really, really, for some of you, this is going to be like a, a new um, kind of eating plan or kind of for some, maybe even um, fasting a little bit. Now, this isn't, you know, um, professional or licensed advice coming through. I, I don't obviously, I'm not a dietitian or any of that sort of stuff, but for some of you, there's, it's, it's time to detox. There are certain things that are going to be, um, it's like all of a sudden you're, there's a potential that you're just going to decide that, that this no longer fits me. It could be, you know, drinking soda or drinking coffee or eating certain foods or, or going out to certain restaurants or maybe going out to restaurants at all and, and deciding just to cook at home or, or maybe all of a sudden avocados didn't appeal to you. And now all of a sudden they do, or all of a sudden tea or water is like your beverage of choice, right? There's, there's just certain things, of course, that spirit is indicating that there's that potential that just, it's all of a sudden, okay. It's all of a sudden that there's this shift in the way that you eat, in the way that you see things, in the stuff that you drink, in the way that you react, all of that, right? And there's this energy of that clarification or that purity or that detoxing, that, that um, transformative energy coming through. But there's also that energy 
as well of that clarity that's coming through with that. It's almost as if it's lifting the brain fog, right? By clarifying and, and detoxing. But there's also a potential for some of you that there is a an unexpected truth that's going to come about that's going to create that energy where you're like, oh, I'm going to detox. I'm going to get rid of all of this. It's no longer supporting me. It's no longer benefiting me. It's got to go, right? It's got to go, okay? Whew. Now, you also have a storyteller coming through. So very beautiful, interesting cards coming through. Beautiful, interesting imagery. The coloring there. It's as if you are creating or coloring um, a new life for yourself here, Grace. Isn't this gorgeous? Where you have this energy of living larger than life. Really, you're, you've got that energy of that talking stick really stepping up and stepping out. You've got that energy of, of clarifying, detoxing. Uh, for some of you, that clarity is coming through, that purity is coming through, right? Coming up through the clouds or coming up through, for, for some of you, it's like um, the, the, uh, brain fog is being cleared, but also an unexpected truth might be coming through, but you have that storyteller. This is you, Aquarius, stepping into your power and living larger than life, choosing what um, things mean for you, right? Uh, choosing where that matters or what the meaning holds for you, kind of the story that you're writing for yourself and for your own life. This is you really coming into this energy of looking at maybe past events for some of you because you're clarifying, right? Just letting go. If that's no longer benefiting, where is that working? Where is that not working? Is it benefiting? Is it supporting? Nope. Let's rewrite that story, okay? Looking at those past events and seeing, okay, or the people or the situations that you may still be holding on to and letting that go, right? That may be where that... Um, unexpected truth is coming through is that something pops up or crops up, shows up, right? Or a person, a situation uh, kind of repeats or shows itself again at Aquarius. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, what the what? Nope, nope. We're not reliving that story. We're rewriting that story. We're going to let that go. That truth coming through. It's like seeing it with fresh eyes. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, wait, what? No, no, that's, no, we're not reliving that. And then adjusting, right? That's no longer supporting. That's no longer re benefiting, right? That's not doing anything. I'm going to create a new story from this moment on. Now that I can see that, now that I have that fresh new eyes, right? That brain fog is gone or that clarity's there or, or I've let go of this, right? I'm speaking my truth. I'm not I'm kind of hiding behind anything. I've got that talking stick, right? That truth stick for some of you kind of truth serum coming through. It's as if with the moon coming through here, any disillusion that you had or any confusion that you had is being cleared up because you're seeing things with the fresh eyes now and you're ready to tell a new story. All right. Now you've got the Knight of Wands with the Two of Pentacles. Interesting energy coming through here. So that Knight of Wands energy is coming through with this energy of really putting the pedal to the metal. This is like really, really stepping into this energy of balance very quickly. For some of you, it's like, oh, should I say that? Oh, I don't want to wreck the boat. Oh, this, oh, ooh, I'm not really sure. And now it's like, you know what? I've got a second chance for, for whatever reason. Something is coming up, Aquarius. Something is going to come up and it's going to be different for everybody. A person, a situation, a past event. Uh, potentially, or even something that's present that you're like, whoa, hold the phone, hold the freaking phone. I don't want to do this anymore. I, it's time for me to create, be brave. And it's time to, for me to really step up and step out and create a balance, really move into this place of being mindful and, and, you know, making decisions that are going to balance out, that are going to support, that are going to benefit, right? And that are going to continue with that clarity and that truth, right? Because you've got that talking stick with that truth, that second chance and that ace of swords with truth. So there's a lot of truth, but an unexpected truth that is going to, you know, um, create or be the catalyst for this kind of um, new story to come through for this clarifying, for this uh, clarity, for this um, purification, right? For this truth, for this, this authenticity, for you to show up and step up and step out of Christ. This is, it, there's this catalyst energy, something again is going to happen of Christ and it's happening so that you can just be like, okay, 
All right, enough is enough. Here I am. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I'm going to write. And it's almost like this energy of, of, um, when it happens, Aquarius, it's almost like your, it, it blows your mind, right? It's like, I, I, I can't believe it. You won't believe that uh, this has been going on for so long or that maybe that you were potentially blind to it for so long or didn't see it because now those fresh eyes that opening that unexpected truth coming out, Aquarius was like, what? Blowing my mind here. I didn't even realize. I didn't know. I didn't see or potentially people have been telling you for years and years and years and you were just like, eh, no, that's not it. No, no. Or not even listening to him or it goes in one ear and out the other, Aquarius. And now all of a sudden it's like, wait, what? This has been happening. No, this is, this, this isn't happening anymore. Okay. You've got that three of wands and the page of wands here as well. So there's a lot of passion around this, Aquarius. For some of you, there's been a lot of, of, um, energy that has just been attached to this. Okay. And now you're like, nope, nope, nope. It's kind of, um, for some of you, there's been this stagnant energy around creativity due to this. It's almost as if it's held you back with that three of wands energy. This is really moving into this place of, wait, you know what? Uh, no, and we're rewriting the story. We're writing a new story. And we are, with that three of wands, ready to take on the world, ready to get out there and live our best life. No longer being held back or held down due to this, whatever it is for you, due to not speaking your truth, due to like living a life for other people, due to not really um, allowing for that past to kind of um, be in the past, right? We can learn the lesson, but we don't need to live there. We, it's just not for us anymore. We've moved past that. We're in the present moment now. We're not in the past anymore. Let the lesson be the lesson. Take what you need from it, Aquarius, but move the heck out of Past. Allow yourself to move into the present moment. Look, pay attention, right? Um, at living your best life, at maybe seeing, you know, survey the land, survey your environment, make decisions, and really allow yourself to um, just move into this present moment and notice where you want that future to be, not the past, right? Move out of that past. Now that page of wands is coming through with this energy of really, um, there's an enthusiasm, but there's also a potential pages bring messages. So there's communication that's going to be coming through. Again, that communication could be that unexpected truth. Okay. But for some of you, um, you are actually feeling a bit excited about this coming through about speaking your truth, right? For some of you, it's like, this really takes a weight off of my shoulders because I have been holding back. I've been biting my tongue for so long and not speaking the truth. Now I have the second chance to really step up, to really be active, to really allow myself to really, really kind of, um, really speak my truth, really be genuine without, um, without being self-critical or being concerned about what other people are think or are, are kind of say or, or even how they might feel because you've got this one life and you're getting a second chance to see, you're seeing things with fresh eyes Aquarius the catalyst is here and you know what again you the, the may just blow your mind you may just be like I, I don't believe that I didn't see this right but believe me Aquarius um once this comes through you have this energy on the other side of creating that whole new story right cleaning out the cobwebs cleaning out right um taking um or cleaning out anything potentially stagnant energy or stagnant um you know, situations or events, or maybe even people that no longer are benefiting or serving you that have just been taking up free rent within your body, within your mind, right? As far as energy blockages, as far as, as, um, your thoughts, that kind of thing. And it's, you you have this clearing out of that to create a new story of Christ. So, um, you know, really, really allow yourself to step into this energy and, and spirit is like, Aquarius, this is, this is happening because it's time. It's time to step out of that past. It's time to really make that name for yourself. Write that new story. Make that name for yourself, Aquarius, because you're here to do that. All right. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not. Otherwise, also feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving as always.
I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.